Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a space weather news update Monday, November 23rd at 11 p.m. Mountain Time 2020. We have some amazing sunspot activity turning around the limb here. Take a look at the bottom left. These two spots are giving us quite some activity currently. After this baby just shot off a minor flare in our direction in the CME. So we have two sunspots that we're looking at. We're just coming off of a C5 or 4 flare here just moments ago. And about 30 hours ago, we came off of a small geomagnetic storm reaching KP5. So we could potentially be looking at larger geomagnetic storms with the associated spots. So we're going to take a quick look. And let's go over here to the HMI continuum. This is the latest picture. Take a look at this gigantic sunspot. This is the biggest sunspot in maybe five, six, seven years. I, don't, I didn't have enough time to go look at the size. But many people have been reporting on giant spots this size. Take a look at this spot. This is a huge sunspot turning around the limb. Now we have two to look at here. Um, where are we? Okay, we have AR2785. That's the small leading spot here. And then the new spot that's turned around the limb, this is the latest shot, is picture with an arrow here. It's AR2786, which mag class is at alpha, and I think it might be at beta at this point. There it is. It's still at alpha, HSX spot class. Sunspot count is one, <laughs> and that baby is as big as Jupiter, for goodness sakes. Look at the size of that spot. So we're, we could be potentially seeing some more activity kicking up, more solar flare activity, and that baby is just gigantic. And there's more news. So we're going to keep a close eye on that moving forward. Look at that baby, and there's some more plage here behind it. So we're going to see what type of a space that has. It just looks right now as positive, negative, perfect mix, a perfect split. That's why it's alpha. And I'll just show you what a beta configuration looks like real quick, so you can get up to speed here. We're going to look at AR2785, which is that forward spot here, where you can see that there's it goes. Uh, Negative, positive, negative straight across the spot. So there is some slight mixing and you can see here the evolution of that spot, which is barely nothing because it's just turning around the limb. So we need to keep a close eye on these because activity is high. And we could prove that to you simply coming over here and oh, there's none of it's parsed up. OK, so there's that. But you could just see the amount of activity and the. Uh, Look at these magnetic loops that come back and reconnect. Pretty fantastic. So there's lots of activity on this limb lot, and a gigantic sunspot. We already have sea flaring happening and geomagnetic storm. So there's a lot going on in the sun as we enter solar cycle 25 as it rapidly ramps up into a very significant territory. Now, we're about to witness a super rare planetary alignment as well, not seen in 800 years 2020 couldn't be any more funny. Stargazers are in for a treat over Christmas as Jupiter and Saturn work closer to each other in Earth's night sky. And they have been for nearly 800 years. In fact, they're going to meet and kiss. It'll be a tippy touch. Set up your telescope for a clear night and get ready. The celestial synchronization has been in the works since summer as Jupiter and Saturn have been moving closer and closer together in the night sky. And between the 16th to the 25th of December, they will be separated by only one fifth of the diameter of a full moon. While the planets won't physically be close to each other at all, of course, they will look like a single point of bright light to anyone looking up at the night sky. Now, alignments between these two planets are extremely rare, occurring every 20 years or so, but this type of conjunction is exceptionally rare because of how close the, pl the planets will appear to one another. And that's according to astronomer Pac Patrick Hardigan from Rice University and Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. So you have to go all the way back to just before dawn on March 4th, 1226 to see a closer alignment between these two objects in the visible sky. To get the best viewing experience for this spectacular show, you're going to need to be somewhere near the equator. But if the skies are clear, then the alignments sh should be visible from just about anywhere on Earth. 
The pair of planets will show up in the night sky for about an hour after sunset each evening, according to astronomers. Uh, and also people that go out and look up, like Diamond. So if you're hoping to catch a glimpse yourself, you'll need to go out and look up to the south, a little bit to the west, and the brightest object you see will be Jupiter, and just up and left of that will be Saturn. And on the evening of the closest approach on December 21st, is, could this be the Mayan prophecy? They will look like a double planet, separated only by one-fifth of the diameter of the full moon, which will be the full moon boom. So there's that. Support your local farmers. Do it now. Do that. The further north of viewer is the less time they'll have to catch a glimpse of the conjunction before the planets sink below the horizon. So be quick, be early, and be at a high point. The planets will be bright enough in the sky to be visible in twilight, which might be the best time to try and take a look at them if you're in the U.S., but you'll only be looking at one spot of light. So there's that. Now, we're going to quickly follow up with a very strange mystery that we've already shared once, and it's developing. This monolith in the middle of the Utah desert is bigger than I thought. It could be 13 feet high, made of stainless steel a foot wide, and is completely, well, you're looking at the actual monolith that was in a movie that's not the actual one that they found. But men discovered a mysterious metal monolith in Utah wilderness, and they immediately touch it. Yes. And a lot of people are joking around. But we're going to show you the video and you make up your own mind. Captain's Log, Stardate 11-18-2020. The crew of the Utah DPS helicopter traveled to southern Utah on a mission to count bighorned life forms with wildlife officers. And uh, he's like, whoa, 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 turn around, turn around. And I was like, what? And he's like, there's this thing, there's this thing back there. We got to go look at it. The crew had spotted an object of unknown origin on the red surface. Okay, the intrepid explorers go down to investigate the... Uh, Alien life form. In the middle of the barren desert <laughs> stood a mysterious metal monolith. I would say it's probably between 10 and 12 feet high. Yeah, this is wild. We are kind of joking around that if one of us suddenly disappears, then uh, I guess the rest of us make a run for it. So, Pilot Brett Hutchings says it didn't look like it was dropped there. It was firmly planted into the ground. We're like thinking, okay, is this something like NASA stuck up there or something? You know, are they bouncing satellites off it or something? It yeah. seemed less scientific and more artistic. I'm assuming it is, you know, some new wave artist or something, you know, or somebody that just is a big uh, 2001 Space Odyssey fan. The similarity to the space movie was unmistakable, as was the bizarre effect it had on observers. It just cause it was kind of unusual and stuff. The universe is filled with the unexplained, and this journey to southern Utah only raised more questions. As the crew headed home, I mean, they only wished they had the answers. Yeah. These idiots went up and touched it. I mean, that's basically the nature of humans. Stupid creatures we are. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. And the sun, well, the sun's waking up in a big way. We have one of the largest sunspots in almost a decade, gracing our presence in the southern hemisphere of the sun, turning around the limb, and that could wreak havoc on planetary systems as we keep a close eye on Ghost X-Ray Flux for your benefit. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. We are just experiencing thunder snow. Be safe. We love you. That's boom to knowledge. Click on one of the links to gain more knowledge.